Welcome back to the vlog. I'm really looking forward to this vlog because there is no theme. I've had so many themed videos, which are really fun, but I'm just taking you guys along for the next couple of days and we have some fun stuff planned. I do have a lot of cozy fall things that I would like to do in this video, including tonight making a homemade pizza recipe that just looks amazing that I found on my reels. That's kind of going to be my highlight for today. We have some errands to run, some things I want to get done around the house, have some work to get done, and then I'll probably take you guys through tomorrow as well I've kind of had a whirlwind of a morning because I worked out this morning which I probably only work out a couple times a week and then I try to walk and do other movement stuff throughout the week rush to get ready and now I have a baby appointment unfortunately Aiden has a call today so he couldn't come with me but I don't think anything is actually happening at this in terms of any sonograms or anything they're just gonna check on baby probably check on his positioning I am 33 weeks or 34 weeks at this point he's the size of a butternut squash which is fitting because i'm cooking with squash tonight but yeah excited to spend the day with you guys i also am loving this top i got this from amazon last year and i don't have a ton of clothes that really fit me right now dressing has been a kind of a struggle but this top i've been wearing all the time because it's comfy it's cute for fall it's still nice if it's a bit warmer outside because it is 80 degrees which is cooler than it has been so we'll take it i'll link this down below let's head into this appointment out of my appointment it went well he is measuring perfectly and he's also in the perfect position which is always good news to hear as we approach our due date but I just stopped and grabbed a juice from juice land not a juice it's technically a smoothie I got one of their green smoothies because I feel like I haven't had a ton of greens lately I'm also going to try to develop some photos I don't know if I can do that on my phone or if I need to load those onto a USB drive or something so we're just going to check and see I normally just do that at CVS but I want to fill out my little pregnancy journal I want to print off some photos but let's run these errands and then head on home had to make a little pit stop on the way home to grab gas which I normally don't have to do because Aiden normally fills up my car but this was the first time in a long time that I have had to it works out though because I wanted to share an app with you guys that I've been using I shared in a recent vlog how we're trying to cut back in a lot of areas and just save more money just with having a baby and all the expenses that come along with it and every time we get gas we always use our upside app I promise this is not a gimmick I've actually used them for a couple of years now it is the best cash back app it's not just gas but I would say that that's primarily what we use it for because I find the deals on gas to be really really great I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video as well essentially how it works you just download the app and they will have a bunch of different deals on the app it's not just gas gas stations they have starbucks on there they have a ton of different food options i'll just put some on the screen right here at least some that are local to dallas they have so many different options on the app it used to be where you had to check in at the location but now it's really nice because you will just say that you've paid there and then in two to four days you will get whatever cashback deal that they are offering this can be through paypal this can be directly to your bank account they also don't sell any of your personal information to any third parties because that is something that is very important to me i also have my own deal with them you can download the free upside app and use code Michelle R to get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas at least for the purchase I just made I have to wait two to four days to get the cash back so I can't show you that one but I have one from a different purchase on here and I have $11 and that was simply from filling up our Jeep and just think about how much you fill up your car you're getting cash back it's super easy it's not gimmicky at all Aiden also has this on his phone he uses upside too because it's just the best for using for restaurants for anything an easy way to make extra money for purchases that you're already making again you guys can download the free upside app and use code michelle r to get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas i'll have that linked at the top of the description box i went to print my photos and it took so much longer than anticipated i just print them at cvs and usually it's really quick but took me forever and then I got them and they're so small. I like to have these for my little journal that I fill out, but they are tiny, which I like having smaller sizes, but I did not think they'd be this small. So I'm probably gonna end up having to reprint them tomorrow. I should have realized when it said $2 as my total that that probably wasn't the right size. I'm gonna go ahead and run the vacuum, kind of freshen up 
the house a little bit and then I have some work I need to get done and I'm also gonna eat some lunch. I'm really excited because I'll show you. Ignore how dirty my Dutch oven is, but we baked another little pumpkin loaf. And this one is actually coated in cinnamon. I did it on the top and I have this pumpkin cream cheese that I've been eating and it's really, really good. So I think we're just gonna have some of this. And then I also need to store that in the fridge before that goes bad. have to show you something absolutely disgusting. Honestly, do not vacuum behind my nightstand as often as I should. And this is currently the state of it. So much dust and gas here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Dyson down here too. But yeah, just a little real life moment. <laughs> I'm doing some of this pumpkin cream cheese on one slice. And then we also have this fig jalapeno spread that was from a friend. It's sweet and spicy, which is exactly what I've been into throughout my whole pregnancy. And so this is a dream for me. So I'm gonna use both of these. finished up some work and now I'm about to sit on the couch for a little bit and I'm gonna pick out what I wanna put in my next newly. Crazy that this is my last newly for October where I'll be pregnant for the whole month. I tried to turn on Gilmore Girls too because I felt like that was the vibe, but our TV is not connecting to the Wi-Fi. I'm also getting a head start on our dinner tonight. I'm making some of the pizza ingredients because I'm trying a new pizza recipe tonight. It's essentially a kind of fall themed pizza where instead of using pizza sauce, you use pumpkin puree, which sounds kind of crazy, but it has prosciutto, butternut squash, and it just looked so delicious. So I'm gonna try that tonight. And then Aiden's not a huge pumpkin fan, so I'm probably gonna make him a barbecue chicken because that's his favorite. It's also super easy. It's nice though when I just prep some of the ingredients ahead of time, and then I can just go in there and whip it up once we're ready to eat later. just set out our pizza ingredients. I just got pre-made dough from Sprouts. I would have loved to make a sourdough pizza dough. I've actually attempted that once and I didn't really love it, but maybe we can do that another time. But for now, this will just be easier. We have our prosciutto, we have mozzarella, ricotta. I need to caramelize some onions, which I've never done before. So we're gonna do that. Pumpkin puree, hopefully this will be enough. I also have another can I can open. And then Aiden's is simple, it's just cheese, <laughs> barbecue sauce. I wish I got red onion. I really like to add that on barbecue chicken, but this will be good enough. And then I also have our squash that I just went ahead and bought pre-made because I hate chopping squash. So that's all ready for us too. I know. You want barbecue chicken, not buffalo chicken, right? Okay. on the pizza was that it ended up being so good 
even Aiden liked it and he's not a huge pumpkin fan and so I would try it I ended up drizzling a little bit of hot honey on top of it I've kind of been putting that on everything these days it's been my favorite thing <laughs> and so you probably heard the clip of me laughing because the pizza looked so tiny when I was making it I thought we were not gonna have enough food but it ended up being the perfect amount for two people getting two of those little dough balls so I'm glad it all worked out but I'm about to crawl into bed and I will catch you guys in the morning. It is the next day, we are back in the car and I am truly just savoring these days of being able to run my errands and go to multiple stores, take my time. And so we're just having one of those afternoons. I actually had a busy morning this morning, had a lot of work stuff come up, but totally fine, we got it all done. And now I'm headed into At Home. This is one of my favorite kind of home decor stores because it's pretty affordable. They have a ton of stuff and I'm still looking for a rug for the nursery. And so I'm gonna check here and see what they have have and if I can't find anything here I'll probably run to home goods maybe world market we'll see I'm just looking for a very simple rug for his nursery but the room is kind of a weird shape so I'm trying to find the right shape for that so we're gonna check here I'd also love to go to Walmart that's kind of random but I've been seeing that they have really really cute baby clothes right now so we're just gonna stop there and see what they have I'm also looking for a gift for a baby girl too so I thought that that would be nice to look there and then I had another store on my list I'm also looking for a hamper too something that has a lid so I'll check here I'll probably check home goods last time I remember them being weirdly pricey here so we'll see what the deal is there I also so wet and printed out my photos today and they look great they're much better than yesterday's they're definitely full-size photos i just went ahead and got four by six and i'm just gonna cut them depending on the size that i need i'll share my little journal that i've shared before i've discovered with cvs every time i try to do it directly from my phone at the store it just does not work right but if i bring a flash drive with the photos it always works so much better just doing it the old school way i'd also love to go for a nice long walk with aiden when he gets off work today i think that's something we're gonna try to do i have another fun dinner recipe i'm gonna try tonight this is kind of exactly what I'm looking for. This hamper, the perfect size too. $40, which I still feel like is a little expensive. This is the perfect size. Usually they're too big, but this one's a good size. So I think we're gonna do it. This one is definitely my favorite. I really like the chunky knit, but I'm just not sure about the sizes. I think that a 5x7 would be too big, so I think I have to go with a 3x5. They don't have it, but we're gonna try to find something similar. Did end up getting that hamper. I did not get a rug, but I did try out a few different sizes and I discovered that a 4x6 would be best. And I found one online that is exactly what I'm looking for. So feels good having that done. I wish I could have gotten the rug there, but totally fine. Their prices weren't that crazy good or anything. So on to Walmart. And then I also might stop by the antique store on the way home. That's another spot I've been looking for something. So we'll see if that ends up happening. Just had to say, if you guys are in Dallas, please go to City View Antique Mall. They have the best stuff. I just stumbled upon this place. It was nearby where I was picking up the other stuff and they had such great antiques. If you're into antiquing, I will say one of my favorite things about being pregnant is that people are just especially so friendly and ask you about the baby and it always just makes my day. So they're really sweet in there. I didn't actually get what I was looking for, but I did get something that spoke to me i've been looking for some kind of cross stitch print that i might put in his room or i might put it somewhere else i think that this one i'm probably going to put nearby the kitchen i think it would go better but it's really really cute so i'll show you that when i get home but we're going to go ahead and head home productive little afternoon 
running all those errands. This is what I got at the antique shop, this little cross stitch quote. I think it was so cute. They had so many different ones there though. And I thought that this would be so nice in our kitchen. I've seen people put frames with different things in their kitchen and I've never thought to do it, but I really, really like how it looks. I think it turned out cute. sat down because I'm gonna fill out my little baby book that I've been keeping track of. I've shared this a lot on the vlogs and over on Instagram, but this has been so much fun to keep up with. It essentially has some sections for pregnancy memories. It has a baby shower section that I especially wanna fill out today. And then once he's actually born, it just goes into a normal baby book of everything. And this has been so much fun to fill out. I ordered this from Etsy and it's just been the sweetest and it always makes me really happy flipping through this. I also have some Polaroids too that I like to mix in. I'm also gonna to write some thank you notes try to chip away at those and while i'm doing this i'm drinking some of this harvest tea this is from trader joe's i'm not a huge tea person i will admit i love the vibes of tea and i love the cozy ambiance but i'm much more of a coffee person but this tea is really good i really really like cinnamon so this one's nice it's caffeine free so we're gonna sip on that while we fill out some of these pages I watch the rain streak down our window We never dreamed it get this bad Like a fool I assumed our troubles would just dissipate Why do we wait to change until it's too late? We were cauldron on the fire. Just got back from a walk and now I'm about to start on dinner. I'm making these baked rosemary chicken meatballs with creamy tomato orzo and spinach. This also came up on my reels and it looks really good. Aiden especially was a huge fan of it. It was a little more involved than a lot of the recipes that I do, but it was really delicious. Also, here's a little 33 week bump update. I really need to go to the bathroom, so I feel like it's sticking out a lot. Definitely feeling a lot larger these days, but still not to a point where I feel entirely uncomfortable. At my appointment, she said I was measuring at about 34 weeks and I'm currently 33 and a half weeks. So pretty much right on time. Of course, he'll come in his own timing. So I wanted to read from my new morning mercies. This is the devotional that I do. And I read this this morning and I meant to read it to you guys, but 
I forgot, so I wanted to read it before bed. It's pretty short. It says, Grace has positioned me on two foundation stones that have redefined my identity, redirected my purpose, reshaped my desires, rescued my thoughts, and reformed my living. I have new reason to get up in the morning and face my day with courage, hope, joy, confidence, and rest. Your grace has changed everything for it has made me sure that you exist and that you reward those who seek you. I just really liked that. I also really liked the phrase of rescued my my thoughts. I have definitely had a lot of just mixed thoughts lately on a lot of worries and especially just entering a new season of life. I've talked about a lot of those things but I am having some newfound worries about, not, I wouldn't say worries but it's almost kind of like butterflies as I prepare to actually give birth and the whole labor and delivery process. That's something that I really haven't had a ton of fear around. I've not had like a giant fear of childbirth. That's not something that I've always kind of thought about, but it is one of those things that as it approaches, I do feel, I don't know, like I mentioned, I don't want to say worried, but it is just feeling more imminent and real. And I really am trying to focus on trusting God throughout this whole process. I think it's easy for my thoughts to just kind of run in one direction and sometimes it does take reining those in. And I really do like the phrase of rescued my thoughts. It reminds me of the song Rescue by Lauren Daigle. Daigle? I always say her last name wrong. I don't know which way it is. Yeah, I definitely need to have a lot of my thoughts rescued as of lately, especially before bed. I just really liked that notion too. I hope this vlog wasn't too too short. I typically try to make them around 20 minutes but I'm not sure if this one got there so we'll see when I'm editing. You guys mean so much to me. I've said it before but creating these videos and sharing my life and curating everything and coming up with ideas it's all so much fun for me and of course it does feel like work a lot of the time because it is work but 95% of the time it still feels just like a hobby which is how it started and so I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for just supporting me and just know that by supporting me, you're also supporting my family and I'm just so entirely grateful for that. Yeah, I just never want to take that for granted, but I will catch you guys in my next video here soon. Bye, friends. I got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. When you're by my side.